Happy World Refrigeration Day. Good night, then. Um, I'm Marco Buoni, president of AREA, the Air Conditioning and Refrigeration European. Um, we work uh, from Brussels. I am uh, actually in Milano, but we are based in Brussels and we represent uh, 26 associations from Europe and beyond. And we have uh, the Turkish Association Sociad as very active member. We represent the contractors, the technicians, the persons that do uh, the, te the technicians that do design, installation, maintenance, and repair of all kinds of vehicles. So, happy World Suggestion Day. Today, the 26th of June, AREA, our association, is delighted to support uh, the Second World Suggestion Day. Today is the anniversary of the birth of Lord Kelvin, and uh, is one of the founder of the inventor of the World Suggestion. Uh, of uh, refrigeration and today we understand how important as essential is our sector for modern life we are in a critical period we understand uh, the needs of european citizens the needs of uh, turkish citizens in preserving food medicines providing thermal comfort eating and cooling in hospital in homes keeping data centers uh, running, internet working in these uh, critical, difficult times. And uh, everybody understand much more how is important refrigeration, how internet work thanks to our systems, and how we support healthcare. AREA is a unique association. Our association is unique. We represent uh, 26 association, and we are a federation of associations, all working together for the good of the sectors. And we represent the medium, small enterprises, the one that uh, hands on, that uh, they work on system to repair the system, to make it working. So even with uh, difficult days, we were out in the field and doing the repair that was needed for giving the food to our citizens, the food to the people, to uh, cool the hospitals. But today, the team is cold chain for life. So, how is important a cold chain uh, to make the food arrive from the field to the ground? to the harvest, to transportation, to the warehouse, to the healthcare, down to the people. Cold chain, we said, is so important, and 50% of medication must be stored and transport under controlled temperature, under our systems. 40% of vaccines, unfortunately, are not used due to lack of a reliable cold chain. So we have to preserve the vaccines. We have to make it working to arrive to the um, people that need vaccines. Also, food. We reduce hunger thanks to the cold chain. 50% of all food should be kept cold. Unfortunately, 25% is not at the moment. We could give food to 950 million people if we, our food is, will, keep, will, be kept, will be kept uh, fresh. So we have also sustainable development goals uh, that are linked to our sectors. So we need to uh, feed more people. So efficient cold chain, number two, proper preservation, transportation, communication, uh, sustainable goal number three, um, expanding the cold chain to offer more job opportunities, uh, reduction of food waste to uh, address responsible food storage and retail practices, minimize emission to the atmosphere from a climate action, uh, sustainable goals number 13 of the United Nations. Our system should be more energy efficient and we should uh, reduce global warming potential of 
And um, so what we can do? We should make sure that food is stored at the right temperature. We should uh, reduce the time between the purchase of uh, food to the storage of the food. And the professional, what can do the professional? Consider most efficient lower GMP technologies. We should use the right equipment. We should use uh, more efficient equipment. We should use, uh, we should check that the servicing of equipment is done correctly uh, and periodically. We should monitor the temperature of the storage and transport. What ARED is doing under this difficult period, COVID-19, we have a library you could, should check in our, uh, uh, in our system, uh, in our uh, web, um, area-eu, uh, and please check what we have done. We have done bulletins, how to do maintenance, certification, uh, repair of system, also to check that there is no, um, there are no uh, arm in our air conditioning system. Uh, there is no propagation of a virus due to our system. So how to do the, uh, the cleaning of the system? We did a lot of reports uh, during this. We did a lot of uh, guidelines. Uh, we did a lot of uh, guidelines how to use uh, thermal refrigerants, how to use thermal refrigerants, how to um, how to uh, prevent illegal trade of refrigerants, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And also, we have done a good real alternatives training free of charge on the internet. And if you want to be certified, you contact Sociad, and you can get the certification in a uh, training center. Uh, for example, Sociad as a training center. All these um, countries in Europe and beyond, also New Zealand and of course Turkey. Uh, is recognized our training on alternative refrigerants and it's been translated in all other languages. So, few numbers. Refrigeration is so important. We have 1.5 billion refrigerators in the world. We have uh, 90 million commercial refrigeration equipment uh, standing alone, commercial refrigeration. We have 1.2 refrigerated containers. We have 600 million air conditioner in the world. We have mobile air conditioning, of course, our cars, 700 million cars, medicines. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, cooled medicine, we said earlier, etc. Sector, But it's also important the energy efficiency of our sector. Around 17% of our wide electricity consumption is due to our refrigeration and air conditioning system. So we should keep our air conditioning uh, efficient. And of course, our refrigerants are also uh, to be checked. We should use low environmental uh, harmful refrigerants. We should use refrigerants that are friendly to the environment. Few more uh, numbers. Leakage should be prevented. You can see in this uh, uh, graph what is the uh, typical range of uh, emission of leakage in our sector. You can see, for example, in commercial refrigeration, which, which is very big. You can see here around 15% of leakage of every year we could have, uh, of our 35 even or 15 transport of refrigeration. So it's so important. And uh, of course, if you have a leak, you have more consumption. So check this graph to check, to check the uh, trend of uh, uh, lose in energetic and financial cost due to a leakage. Again, the percentage of leakage. So reducing the leakage, change refrigerant. Of course, legislation, green credentials, improved production, and health and safety, which is so important now, health and safety. In addition, less efficient cost, less service maintenance, of course, your system is working more, and your customer is happier, and uh, the end user is happier, and in particular in this time, you have less loose, less waste of uh, uh, very good food, which is needed 
in this downtown, in this lockdown, in this time of difficulties. So at the end of the queue, the environment is for us. Keep it cool. Thank you. Tessa Cooler. Bye bye.